Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Marlena and in today's video we are going to be cleaning my master bathroom and my kids bathroom upstairs. Um, hi, there I am. Uh, my uh, sink has a ton of things. I have a lot of kids clothes and a choo-choo train. I need to clean the outside of that shower and my uh, little bathroom there as well as my husband's sink over here and then my kids bathroom so let's get started okay so i got some clothes and the choo-choo train out of here and now i'm just over here at my sink area counter sink area and I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of these little items put away back into their place things just kind of got a little out of control here as as it normally does um, but then as I was cleaning I decided I wanted to take everything off my little turntable here and give it a good dusting and kind of rearrange everything um, Things kind of got out of sorts and so I just wanted to take everything out and you know kind of just rearrange everything <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do here and then um, just continue cleaning on this counter area So just a little FYI, nobody judge me. I am wearing some pajama pants. Well, just like full on pajamas pretty much. And um, I guess you guys could probably tell that. But this morning I just really wanted to just, I just wanted to start cleaning right away. And I needed to do some laundry as well. So I was like, you know what? Just cleaning in pajamas today and it's fine. And a lot of the times that happens. And so no judging. <laughs> done with my little turntable thing I'm gonna go ahead and finish wiping off my counters with a little bit of this Clorox spray and then once I am finished with the counters I'll move on to the mirrors and to clean the mirrors I use a spray from Grove it is the little concentrates that you can get that you mix with water and I love that stuff it's wonderful um, and then once I'm finished with the mirrors then I will move on to my sink and I'll use the Dawn uh, power wash for that along with a little scrubby from the Dollar Tree and then we'll move on to the tub. Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do Okay, so we are at the tub and I'm gonna spray it down with the Dawn And then I'm just gonna use the scrubby and give it like the initial clean And um, just so it's like pretty nice and clean because I'm actually going to get in there in my hands and knees and wash it down with a little bit of Barkeeper's Friend. I had a few rust stains. Um, I, I let my boys use one of my plant stands in here for some other boys while they were taking a bath and it accidentally got left in here and so it did leave a few rust stains but the Barkeeper's Friend got it up 
really well, like no problem at all. I love that stuff, it's so great. So I'm just going to um, do a little spot cleaning in here and then I'm going to give it a good rinse and move on to the shower. to be cleaning the outside of my shower. I think I've mentioned a few times before in my in my bathroom cleaning videos that I um, now clean the inside of my shower while I'm showering. So like each week, I'll just pick a day that um, like while I'm letting the conditioner like just set in my hair, I'll take a, one of my little scrubbies from the Dollar Tree as well as the Dawn um, power wash spray and I just clean it all while I'm in the shower and you don't have to worry about you know getting splashed on or anything like that because you're in the shower and it's wonderful and I love that method um, and so um, yeah that's what I do now um, but we're also um, have moved on into this little toilet room here and so I'm just gonna go ahead give this you know the little clean and get this going and then once I'm finished here we'll move on to my um, husband's sink area my husband's sink area I kind of clean it like I don't know like kind of like a hotel maid would clean you know the room that you're staying in I don't throw anything away I don't organize any of his stuff I basically just move everything clean and put everything back um, I mean if it's obvious trash like an empty wrapper or something I will put that away but I don't throw any receipts away I don't throw any of his random work tool thingies I find in his like pockets or anywhere around his sink because I don't really know what he needs to keep or what he'll throw away so he always goes through his stuff his little um organizing area is a little you know so I just don't go through his little like organizing area in the corner there um I just kind of clean up a little bit make sure everything's nice and clean and then put everything back like I said and that's just kind of how I tackle his um, side of the sink. Um, but now that we are finished with that, we will go ahead and just get everything nice and swept. And then I'm going to do a quick mop. Um, I usually would get down just on my hands and knees and do it because it's just faster than getting the O-Cedar up. Um, but I found an old Swiffer. And so what I've been doing is taking just a uh, bigger microfiber towel and putting it on my old Swiffer. And this is like kind of, you know, it's basically what I'd be doing on my hands and knees um, and just using my Clorox spray and just doing a nice little mop here like this. And it's been working so well. boys room now my boys bathroom and so I will just go ahead and get this nice and clean very quickly here I went ahead and did the mirrors wiping everything down with the Clorox in here um, and getting their sink nice and clean of course with the Dawn um, and then um, if you can even like see my reflection in the mirror there that's kind of why I like using those little scrubbies because those little drainage holes 
Those scrubbies from the Dollar Tree get in those little drainage holes so well. I don't even know if you can actually see what I'm talking about. Hopefully I can, maybe I can put something on there, maybe not. <laughs> Anyways, we'll move on to the toilet now and get this all nice and clean. Just the normal cleaning process with the toilet. As soon as I'm done with this, we'll do a sweep and a mop here as well. Okay, we are all done with the video today and the bathrooms are nice and clean. My boys' bathroom is so much nicer and cleaner now, which is always the goal. And of course, my master bathroom here is a lot better. Things are off the sink. Um, bathtub and everything is nice and clean outside of the shower. Of course, the small little toilet room is also clean. And look at how tiny this little room is. I'll show it to you real quick. It is so tiny. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed watching it, please consider watching another one. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye!